afternoon. My name is Zora Bennett along with Jayana, Janaya, and Jalea. We're here for our Thursday evening session from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church where Reverend Charles K. Bender is our pastor. And we're going to do our devotion. We're going to have a song by Janiah. Then we have script scripture by uh, Jalea. And then we'll have a prayer by Jayana. It occurred to me how unhappy I would be if God would ever take His Spirit away from me. Things are bad enough, sometimes the going get rough. But Lord, whatever you do, don't take your Spirit away from me. Don't take it, 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 please don't take it, 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 please don't take it, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, whatever you do. Lord, whatever you do, 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 do. Lord, whatever you do, 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 do. Don't take your spirit away from me. Alright. I'm going to be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Oh, verse 13. There has has no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptations also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. I've read 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Let the Lord bless the hearers and the readers of his holy divine word. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Um, and thank you for everybody watching this today, if you are. And I'd like to pray for my nana, um, my sister um, Bender, and... I'd like to pray for my mom and my dad and the pastor Bender, my granddad, and, and myself. Amen. 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 I want to thank our children for doing our devotion for this day. And you heard our scripture. It's coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. that says, There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation always make a way to escape that ye be able to bear it. So today we're going to talk about temptation. Temptation. And when we hear the word temptation, we think about urge or an itch or desire. And when I looked it up in the dictionary, Temptation is the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. But then, when I looked it up in the Bible, the Bible says temptation is a trial in which man has a free choice of being faithful or unfaithful to God. Now, I want to let you know a few facts about temptation. There are three types of temptation. The first one is hunger. And that's what they call lust of the body. Second one is ego. That's being prideful. Then the third one is being materialistic. That means the lust of the eyes. You want what you see. Now James 1.14 says, Carried away and enticed by our own lust." Temptation is not a sin, but temptation is an invitation to sin. 
Now, I want you to understand that temptation is not a sin, but it is an invitation to sin. So, one mistake we make, especially new Christians, is to think everything will be easy and there will be no more problems after they are saved. Yes, God loves them and we belong to God. But he won't tolerate sin. Don't forget, Satan can and will tempt us in order to make us unhappy, to ruin our influence for Christ, and to divert our minds from saving, serving Jesus. Therefore, we need to know what to do when temptation comes our way. So I've looked up four questions, I think it's six questions that's normally asked. And I have some scripture to give you the answer. The first question is, who will help Christians through their problems? Who will help Christians through their problems? Proverbs 3.26 says, For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. The second question, does God make you sin or tempt you to sin? Does God make you sin or tempt you to sin? And if we go to James 1, 13 and 14, you'll find the answer. It says, let no man say when he is tempted from God. Let me make sure I read this right. Let no man say when he is tempted I am tempted of God, for God can't be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Third question, when I am tempted, what should I do? When I am tempted, what should I do? 1 Timothy 6 11b said, you should follow after righteousness, godliness, be faithful, loving, have patience, and meekness. Question four, if I fall and get into sin, what must I do as soon as possible? 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Question five. Does Jesus understand us when we go through temptation? Does Jesus understand us when we go through temptation? And if you go to Hebrew chapter four, Verses 14, 15, and 16, it says, yes, he understands. Jesus was tempted also, yet he sinned not. He is there to render mercy and give grace to help in time of need. So, yes, he understands. And the last question, what is best for me to do to keep myself from temptation? And if we go to Psalms 119, verse 9 and 11, it says, By taking heed to thy word, and by taking thy word and hide it in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. So, learn the word, hide it in your heart, so when you're tempted, you will know what to say and do. So, watch out. Satan is out to get you. Be ready for him with the word. See you next week.